Good morning. My name is Dennis Hong. I'm the director of Romela, the Robotics and Mechanism Laboratory at UCLA. And today I'd like to give a talk on our paper, Feasibility Study of Limbs, a multi-agent modular robotic delivery system with various locomotion and manipulation modes. At our lab, Romela, we come up with many ingenious robot mobility mechanisms. Recently, we've been focusing more on legged locomotion, a new type of configuration for bipedal robot, quadrupedal robots, hexapod robots, and many different type of uh, locomotion systems. One of the more recent robot we developed is called Alfred, autonomous leg personal helper robot with enhanced dynamics. It's a uh, 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 axisymmetric uh, uh, robot. So there's no forward and backwards and left and right, but it walks very fast and very stable. It can also hop very well. Notice that when it lands, the impact is converted to electricity so it can charge its battery for efficiency. For hard, smooth surfaces, it utilizes the caster wheels on its belly for efficiency as well. It uses a force impedance control so it can do these knocking. And it uses a custom developed propri uh, proprioceptive oh, actuators called the bear actuators. Oh my God. <laughs> and if you want to, we can even break boards. But the real reason we developed this robot is for package delivery. Uh, so this is a multimodal locomotion robot. There's many different modes it can operate uh, to walk and manipulate objects. And we believe this is the only quadruped robot that can pick up a box from the ground and deliver in a higher position. So we want to use this robot for uh, last mile delivery. Let's look at a more realistic scenario. So there's a truck and the truck is filled with boxes, stacked boxes. The robot needs to pick a box from the stack and deliver it to the final destination, which is gonna be in front of the door, uh, the porch. So how do we do this? Now, this is actually much more difficult than one might think. Uh, this last mile delivery problem, there's really two distinct tasks the robot needs to do. First of all, it needs to shuffle and pick the right box and unload package from the vehicle, which has to do with manipulation. And it needs to move that package, the box, to the desired location, which has to do with transportation. And Alfred robot I just talked about is designed to do this. However, there's a much bigger problem. Now let's look at some other uh, uh, efforts from different laboratories. Now for the current solutions that other people are using, they use uh, humanoid robots or quadruped, ro quadruped robots or some kind of hybrid system. Including Alfred, This there's a bigger problem uh, to this approach. Now first of all, the truck needs to carry the heavy and bulky robots. The truck needs to carry the humanoid robot where the boxes are stored. And this is not good because these are very heavy and bulky. Uh, I cannot imagine having more than one robot in the, in the, in the trunk, uh, which means that one robot means one package delivery at a time, which makes it highly inefficient. So how do we solve this problem? So in our lab, we literally think outside the box, think out of the box. So once we ask ourselves this question, what if the payload itself is the body of the robot? What if the box that it needs to deliver is the body of the robot? And thus we came up with an ingenious system called LIMS. LIMS stands for Latching Intelligent Modular Mobility System. And this is a rendering of our first version of LIM. So this is a six trigger freedom serial chain. It's actually a mobile robot. It weighs about four kilograms. When it's folded, it's a very compact size, uh, 43 centimeters long and 20 centimeters width. And when it, it's unfolded, it's about 0.75 meters long. Uh, you can see the wheels attached on the bottom. It's not shown here, but there's also a very interesting latching mechanism, which I'll be talking in a minute. So how does the system work? Now, as I mentioned, this limb unit is very compact. So I can imagine uh, storing these limb units in the uh, on the ceiling inside the truck. Let's say we have 16 limb units hanging inside the truck. Now, these limb units have these latching mechanisms that can latch onto the box, to the ceiling, to the wall, and the floor of the truck. I'm gonna talk about more in detail how this works, but at this point, let's assume that it can do that. So multiple limbs units, they grab onto the wall and to the box, and working together, they uh, uh, unload uh, the box. And in the reverse order, you can also think about uh, these can stack boxes as well. Once the box is loose, then more limb units attach to the box, and these limb units becomes legs of the robot. So literally we can make a quadruped robot. And of course, if the box is heavier, we have more limbs attached to it so we can make a hexapod robot, for example. Now, if you remember, these limb units also have wheels so they can roll, but when it encounters a obstacle or stairs, it can walk up the stairs just like a quadruped robot. When it reaches its destination, these limb units detach from the box and just leaves the box at its destination. 
At this point, you might be questioning then how do you make the limb robot return to the uh, truck? Good question. These limb units, they have wheels, they stand upright, and just like a Segway, they return back to the truck. Isn't this ingenious? Isn't this great? <laughs> this is the limb system. Now, by now, you have might be uh, curious about this so-called latching mechanism. How does it work? So this is a quick uh, an animation explaining how it works. So we have these uh, rotating blades with a cutout. So as they rotate, it's a self-aligning mechanism and they mate to the other side. If it rotates in the other direction, they detach. So you can imagine having these inserts mounted on the box or it could be just simple cutouts in the box. The truck ceiling floor and the wall can have all these cutouts as well, which means that it can attach to anywhere inside the, the truck and also onto the package. Now this video shows uh, uh, our first physical prototype. This one has three blades, but again, it's self-aligning. As you turn it, it rigidly attaches to the cardboard. The second video adds another pin. So once it mates to the other side, uh, on, onto the cardboard, this pin's uh, engaged, it becomes a very rigid connection to the box and we're very happy with its performance. Now, you probably cannot see it very well, but there's a clear plexiglass in front of the camera. It's transparent, you cannot see it, but you can see the cutouts in this picture. Now, uh, pay attention to the inner blade profile over there. Uh, the blue cross shows the center of the end effector, the latching mechanism, and the green cross shows the center of the opening. So as this rotates, notice that it has, starts with a very big offset, an error. But as I mentioned, this is a self-aligning mechanism. So as it turns, it, it uh, reaches to its uh, final position and mates uh, uh, perfectly. We are very happy with its uh, robustness and uh, repeatability. It's a great mechanism. So this is the latest one. We decided to use a two blade mechanism and instead of the pin, this time we have this counter rotating locking mechanism you can see over there. And this helps to adapt to the deformation of the cardboard and it helps with the locking and alignment. We also optimize the geometry of the blade to reduce the stress and to increase the stiffness of the connection. Now, as you can imagine, these limbs units will be used in many different modes. Uh, they're gonna be used for manipulation when stacking the boxes, used for leg locomotion when it's walking over uh, uh, obstacles or climbing upstairs, and also wheel locomotion. So in the design phase, we wanna make sure that the chosen actuator can handle all these tasks. So we did some uh, uh, simple uh, sim simulation. So moving a two kilogram box, absolutely no problem. However, for locomotion, four-legged walking, uh, it's a little bit interesting story. Now, this robot actually is a very different type of robot than your typical quadruped robot. Now, generally in leg robots, when you model it, you assume uh, massless uh, uh, limbs because the inertia of the legs are very small compared to the body of the robot. But for the limb system, it's the opposite because these limbs are uh, standalone robots. They contain batteries, sensors, actuators, computation rooms, everything uh, uh, on board. The limbs, the legs themselves are much heavier than the box. So when it walks, it has a very high impact, which means that uh, for the walking gait, we need to come up with a um, dedicated walking gait for this limb system. Uh, this is our final design for version one of the limb system. Uh, so you can see the center joint, uh, wrist joint. Now the base joint is a little bit uh, different. It's actually kind of interesting. It actually has two outputs from a single motor. There's a fast rotating output, that's for the wheels, and there's a slow rotating output for the latching mechanism. It's slow, which is good, and which means that it has higher torque, which is even better. So we do not need to have an additional motor actuator just for the latching mechanism. You can see the wheels rotating. And this is our very first uh, prototype, working physical prototype of the first version of limbs. So we start doing physical experiments. This is a static load test, 2.5 kilogram load, absolutely no problem. And we're doing some experiments for the latching using a two blade latching mechanism. Uh, I'm just gonna say it one more time. We're very happy with its performance, the robustness, self-aligning mechanism, it's working perfectly. Uh, a disclaimer, in this video, the wheel locomotion, this is really an open loop experiment, so it's not really balancing just yet. Now, this actually is not in the scope of this paper, but just, I just want to show you the work that we're doing. Uh, we've done a complete analysis and optimization of various locking and uh, latching mechanism, which we're gonna be presenting at the ASME IDTC 2022 conference this year, and also for the trajectory planning, motion planning for the limbs, uh, for moving the boxes, the limbs attaching it to the box, how to, uh, the motion for getting out of the, the truck, all of these will be presented at IROS 2022 this year as well. 
Uh, as we speak, we're building, fabricating, and assembling multiple limbs prototypes right now, and I cannot wait to perform actual experiments of transporting, stacking, and make walk, making the box walk. And I'm very excited about this project. I would like to thank our sponsor, LG Electronics, and I would like to uh, give credit to our wonderful, smart, hardworking, very fun students at Romella. Thank you for your attention.